Yes, you read the title correctly, a D3 school out of Iowa called Grinnell College shot 111 threes in a single game. Not only did they shoot over 100 threes, but they didn't even attempt a single two point shot the entire game. Out of the 111 threes, they made 40 of them, which is about 37%. 14 different Grinnell players attempted at least one three, and Adam Phillips, the team's leading scorer, took a team high 24 threes, making 12 of them. They played against a school called Emus Bible College, and the final score was 124 to 67. The team got a blowout win while going for challenges. Every time they got the ball, they would shoot the very first shot that was available, and to be honest, a lot of them were pretty open. Their head coach said that this all stemmed from a crazy idea he had about if a team only shot threes. He literally called it an experiment. Some coaches run plays and other coaches run experiments. Also, could you imagine being the one dude on the team that can't shoot? Adam Phillips for Grinnell took the same amount of threes as Clay Thompson did when he broke the three point record. But the craziest part about all of this is that making 40 threes in one game isn't even the most amount of threes the school has made in a single game. Back in 2018, Grinnell managed to make 42 threes in one game while only shooting 88 of them. Yes, only 88. They just shot 111, so 88 is kind of low for them. They shot 48% from three and only took 22 shots inside the three point line. To make it even worse, it was against the exact same school they shot 111 threes against. I don't know what the coach has against the Emus basketball program, but they're going out of their way to abuse them. Whatever they did, they do not deserve what's being done to them. 16 different players attempted a 3, and 4 of them attempted over 10. Only 4 players on the team did not attempt a 3, and yes, that also means 20 Grinnell players got playing time in one game. The final score was a mind-blowing 164 to 107. Yes, Emus didn't really even play that bad. They scored 107 points and still lost by over 50. But the story doesn't even end there. This is the same school that went viral back in 2012 for having a player score an NCAA record of 130 points in a game by himself. Jack Taylor, by his lonesome, took 108 shots in a single game, with 71 of them being three-pointers. With the Mamba mentality, he made 52 shots and made 27 of his 71 threes. The rest of the team combined, 41 points. The final score was an insane 179 to 104, and thankfully this also wasn't against the same school they usually beat on. When Jack Taylor first scored 138, he was put on everything. He was on SportsCenter, Jimmy Kimmel, and the Today Show, and at the end of the day he did score 138 points, so it was all pretty valid. He also wasn't some freak of nature either, he's literally 5'10 and was just shooting every chance he got. And to prove to absolutely nobody that it wasn't a fluke, Grinnell decided to do the exact same thing the following year, having Jack Taylor score 109 points in a completely different game. In a 173-123 to 123 win over Crossroads, Jack made 24 of his 48 threes and took 70 shots in his 29 minutes of play. This is just something Jack would do though, he scored 71 points in the opening game that year as well. Playing with him does kind of seem horrible, but he did credit his teammates every time he was able to pull something like that off. Grinnell has been doing stuff like this for years. In 1998, a player named Jeff Clements set the D3 scoring record with 77 points in a game. He took 55 shots making 27 of them and also made 15 threes. Again, this was back in 1998. That record also wouldn't be broken until another Grinnell player would break it in 2011. Griffin Lynch scored 89 points in a game against Principia College. In 2005, Grinnell was even the first D3 basketball team to be featured on ESPN in over 30 years, which displayed the running gun offense to national eyes for the very first time. The infamous offense is called the System, and Grinnell is clearly still running it to this day. That's also because the coach that started this whole thing is still there to this day. I've given you a couple crazy examples of the things the school has done, but what you have to understand is they literally do this every single game. They basically average almost 43 point attempts a game, and they take the first available shot on every possession. Last season, the team went 16-9, and the scores in every single one of the games looks like the score to an NBA game. It's also the only school you can go to and be encouraged to score a career high every game. 
You can actually view box scores and games from over 10 years ago on their website. You can just scroll through and see years and years of them playing like this. Who needs defense when you can just score more points? And if it works, it works. They've won several conference championships and are one of the best teams in the division every year. The team has so many records that their own personal men's basketball record book is 23 pages long and it's not like these records are spaced out either. Those records are packed side by side. Back when Lonzo and LaMelo Ball were in high school, Chino Hills ran a similar type of offense, but that was in high school. And they also had multiple future NBA players. This team is a D3 college with dudes that are just trying to get a degree. Could you imagine a team like Duke or an NBA team running Grinnell's offense? At the end of the day, I have nothing but respect for it. They're winning games, and if they didn't play how they do, nobody would really be talking about them. So to be honest, it's a win-win. For real though, justice for Emus Bible School.